We tested two video ads with emotional tracking to measure their performance. Let's look at the first ad. Our objective is to understand whether or not the video's intended humorous moments and vital branding moments are in sync. We can see peaks of joy at the expected moments, strong and positive emotional response at the branding moment, late first emotion response, and little visual engagement with logo and product in the last static image. So we can assume that the video evokes strong emotions and renders peaks at expected humorous moments. It also shows high positive emotional response at the branding moment. However, the first emotional response comes well past the appearance of the skip button, meaning that there is a risk that the viewers will skip or disengage with the video. Editing the video for a quicker emotional response in the beginning and moving the logo and the product image closer to the center of attention in the final scene would be two ways to optimize the video's effect even further. Now let's see how well another successful TV commercial transfers to digital formats. The woman screaming in the closet creates the first small response, which leads to a much stronger rise in positive emotion when the men start screaming with a well-placed branding moment. However, it takes more than 10 seconds to create an emotional response at the beginning, which indicates low engagement. Therefore, while it may perform well on TV, it is expected to perform worse in digital formats, where users can skip pre-roll commercials and move to a new tab.